welcome my name is shabrinat ps i'm a standard 10th student of school tgm vidyanigeden this is my it individual project on the topic situations of economic sectors before and after covid-19 certificate acknowledgement introduction covid-19 is a disease which became a pandemic and extended its reach to nearly all of the world but it's limited time period of one and a half years to control the spread of this disease globally countries have imposed lockdowns thus taking the world to a standstill as well as creating a recession the effects of this on a few sectors of economy are discussed and compared here with situations before tourism sector this is the sector that provides us with the services of travel we used to travel to different destinations to take a break from our daily lives this sector provides us with facilities like hotels restaurants guides tour packages etc due to easiness of global travel tourism sector have grown rapidly india is one of the world's famous destinations where people comes to see our ancient cultures architectural wonders and beautiful geographical areas how tourism sector was before covid-19 outbreak india was one of the world's top destinations the amount of tourist visits was growing every year in global level tourism was the second most growing sector in 2019 travel and tourism accounted about 6.8% of india's gdp in 2018 in india travel and tourism industry embraced 42.673 million jobs 8.1% of its total employment this is the chart showing the share of top 20 states and union territories in india based on our number of foreign tourist arrivals in 2018 we can see states like tamil nadu maharashtra uttar pradesh and rajasthan along with national capital territory have more tourists than others impact on tourism sector after covid-19 outbreak tourism sector is one of the worst hit sector due to the outbreak of covid-19 and its lockdown travel restrictions made tourism sector to lose nearly all the business it was getting it is predicted due to covid-19 about 100.08 million job losses will happen in the sector in india itself 38 million jobs are predicted to get lost it is expected that travel and tourism industry is likely to lose 5 crores due to the pandemic this is the chart showing the number of foreign tourist arrivals in the first months of 2019 and 2020 we can see that in january of 2020 india received more foreign tourists than in 2019 but when it came to 2020 it decreased as coronavirus started to spread this chart shows impact or negative impact on small scale businesses due to covid-19 pandemic manufacturing sector this is the sector that creates the products that we use every day in large medium or small scale manufacturing units industries procure raw materials process them and use it to create our necessary products products like automobiles smartphones other electronics etc are end products of the sector this is a car manufacturing unit before covid-19 
in 2019-20, manufacturing sector in quarter one accounted for 70.5% of GDP. It was expected that due to US-China trade war, there is a golden chance for India to become the world's manufacturing hub. Globally, in 2019, manufacturing sector held the largest growth rate of 4%. Global demand supply was growing and globalization was reaching out at its largest extent, helping manufacturing industry to be involved in more countries. Example, an iPhone and its particles comes from nearly 43 countries before reaching you. Impact of non manufacturing sector after COVID 19 outbreak. Restrictions on imports and shipment made it difficult for resources and other products to reach factories in other countries. Imposing a lockdown mean factories to close. The supply decreased. Global demand decreased due to closure. Manufacturing sector showed negative growth of 39.3% in quarter 1 of India's GDP. Globally, manufacturing sector shown negative growth rates. This is the chart showing the impact on smart manufacturing market. We can see that there was a decrease from 2019 level in 2020. And it's expected that uh, by 2025 that uh, can be overcome. Education. This is the sector that deals with providing education to people, schools, colleges, universities, extra, coaching classes, etc. are part of the sector. The sector is very important as they are the molders of the future citizens of the world. Here we can see a classroom of kids studying and talking. Before COVID-19, there were offline classes. In fiscal year 2019, the sector comprised of $101.1 billion in India. The sector was growing highly and new technologies was coming to the sector. Government was increasing uh, the percentage of budget for education sector. Impact on education sector after COVID-19 outbreak. Classes started turning online. Education sector experienced an unpredicted fast revolution. New ways for teaching started. Due to a fast shift and less preparation, many faced problems. Some were not able to get the service. Government and other organizations need to invest in a planned way in the sector to increase the reach of the change as we can't predict when the pandemic will end. Homeschooling increased. This is a photo of a kid uh, studying online. This chart shows an evaluation of online learning compared to direct practical lessons by students and teachers. Here we can see that practical lessons have more scores, which shows us that online learning needs to improve. Transportation sector. The sector is the one which provides us the service of transportation, which we use in our day-to-day -day lives. We use transportation facilities like bus, metro, public transport, trains, taxis, etc. Advances in transportation sector help to reduce the time of travel and make more countries to get connected and access the global market, increasing the standard of our lives and decreasing the cost of it. Here we can see different modes of transportation like land, air, water, etc. Before COVID-19, transportation sector was booming. We started to travel more than we ever did. Tourist travels, daily commute, once etc. was increasing for every person. From 1990s, 
India's transportation sector was growing on an average rate of 5.8%. It accounted for nearly 6.2% of India's GDP. New and new projects were completed and proclaimed in the transportation sector. New technologies such as driverless cars were tested and being made in the world. How COVID-19 outbreak impacted transportation sector. Transportation sector was one of the worst hit ones due to the pandemic as borders closed internationally. All international travels were cancelled and that affected the business. Then lockdowns made domestic business to loss. In India's GDP, transportation sector have only contributed 2%. Indian railways lost nearly 6,200 crores rupees business. Unemployment rise in this sector. Here we can see the short decrease in transportation sector when lockdowns were imposed. Uh, while a few other transports such as daily agriculture products, home delivery, etc. shown some kind of improvement. Agriculture sector. Agriculture sector provides us with necessary food for our day-to-day -day needs. The global demand for food has been grown significantly over the last century. Due to technology, we are now able to produce more food on a single piece of land in a short term so that we can supply the whole world with food. Without food, we cannot live. It is evident as human population experienced its first major increase in size during the agricultural revolution in olden times. In India, to increase the produce of agriculture sector, green revolution has helped a lot. Here we can see of farmers sowing seeds and pesticides into the fields. Before COVID-19, agriculture sector in India employed nearly half of its population and have a 70% contribution to GDP. The sector helped India become world's one of the largest agriculture produce exporters. More labor was available. Fertilizers, pesticides, tractors, etc. was available to farmers which helped them grow more products. Demand was rising as the country was developing, which also gave a huge hope for agricultural sector. Impact of uh, COVID-19 outbreak on agricultural sector Agriculture sector was one of the only major sectors to show positive growth in 2020. Availability of inputs was less or unavailable in many areas, which decreased the output. Its quality would, will, be, will affect by that less output, as well as there have been reports of late harvest. Labor faced shortages due to fear of exposure to COVID-19, and most of those laborers being in cities gone for jobs and due to lockdown could not return. Exports were harder due to shipping restrictions. Prices in wholesale markets dropped. Here we can see the decrease in prices in wholesale markets when lockdown was announced. This affected the farmers. Conclusion The worst effects of the pandemic are more, but as we humans fought against it, we can learn so many new things and adapt ourselves to new changes and give us the time to rethink our decisions and actions. Humanity has fought so many challenges and those challenges have shown us new ideas and brought changes by which we are living more better today. With this pandemic, we also need to go through it and recover from it as a more advanced and humane population. References Indian Agriculture The Wire Dotting Economy The Impact of COVID-19 on India's Manufacturing Sector www.cbgainindia.org Impact on COVID-19 School Education India Budgetary Implications 
www.ncbr.nlm.nih.gov. Thank you.